All right, we are live. Wait for some people to join us. Wait for some people to join us. First viewer, welcome. We are in Miami, Florida here. Officially a road game here. We are at iTech. And it's the uh, time the ball will be up against Atlantis University, a local school. That's a nice option for a lot of local kids to play, uh, to go to school and play basketball. A couple of alumni on this Atlantis roster, we'll mention them when they get in the game. We're about to tip off here. Starting lineup for the day, we got Zanega, Garrido, Barroso, Noel, and Thomas. And that will start the game here. As time the ball controls the tip off. Goes into the high post of Zanega. Cut to Garrido. Behind the back pass is off the mark. Zanega picks up the loose ball. Gets it to Garrido. Scores. Now TTV coming out with it, putting a little bit of pressure on the ball. But also all over his guy. Hitchin tried to pass it inside. That's no good. Tyler Thomas is there for the steal. And he'll bring it up. He'll reset to Barroso over to the corner. Garrido. Garrido back up top. Noel back to Garrido. Now swinging it to the right side. Barroso. Here's a little mid range jump shot by Garrido. Got to. Garrido opens up with the first four points of this game and a quick 4 nothing lead for TTB. Here's a drive to the basket. Defended well and forcing the travel there, Santana Noel. Good job of moving his feet, getting that lateral movement done. Here's a pass inside. Beautiful look by Barroso to Garrido and that's going to Give Atlanta force them to take an early timeout as TTB jumps on them quickly. 6 nothing here with just over one minute past at the start of this game. 18.53 still to go. TTB coming in with an overall record of 16-5 and five on the season. And uh, that includes a 3-2 and two record in conference play and 3-1 and one in division conference play. As well as a 7-3 and three record overall against college programs this year. So this will be their 11th game against a college program. PTB trying to go 8-3. and three. That is a fantastic record against college programs. Shows that a lot of these kids... A lot of our guys are ready for that next level. Here's Atlantis trying to get to something going. Rough start for them. Rotating the ball out in the perimeter. The ball is stripped, but it gets right to the Atlantis player. Now here comes a double team. And stolen by Barroso. Tried to get it over to Noel. And the pass got loose. It'll be a turnover over to Atlantis. Here's a drive to the basket, up and good. That's number two for Atlantis. Back very quickly in a quick pass. And that is Tyler Thomas with the reverse. Nice look by Barroso and the reverse layup by Tyler Thomas. Here's a drive to the back. That's cut off nicely by Santana Noir. Here's a near steal by Zanega. TCB applying a lot of pressure here. And we're going to get a foul on Santana Noel. And he's kind of discussing that with the referee. A lot of, a lot of, a 
lot of contact down there, a lot of physical play, and Matenis trying to post them up. Atlantis resets. Skip pass. Into the lane. Mid-range jumper by number five is good. Comes TTV going back the other way. Santana. Barroso. Over to Thomas. Thomas quickly to the basket. He's going to draw the foul. Tyler Thomas will go to the line. Averaging 11.4 points a game this season. One of five players that are averaging over eight points a game. That's a nice distribution for TTB. He's currently second on the team in scoring. As Brian Barroso is giving the Atlanta point guard all he can handle. And here's a deep three. That's no good. Rebound goes to Santana Noel. Here's Barroso, pass inside to Zanega. Little short jump shot is good. So Manuel Zanega gets on the board. And then we get another timeout here by Atlantis. 16-24 to go, 12-4 early on here. TTB in the lead. Mentioning Tyler Thomas, second on the team, he's uh, behind only Elkis Pulido, averaging 13.3 points a game. That's 13.3 off the bench, leading the team and scoring mostly off the bench. I think he's not doesn't typically start, although he starts at times. Like I said before, this team has about 11 or 12 starters. Coach Tim kind of rotating his starting lineup somewhat. I think uh, minutes are pretty well distributed on this team between the first and second group, I will call it, in each game. Tim loves to go with the five in, five out about every five minutes. Got about another minute and a half to go here before uh, that mark, so we'll see what he does in this game. I bet this is going to be a five, five in, five out at about 15 minutes to go. So this group's got about another minute to 10 seconds on the floor. Here's Garrido all over his man. Here's a drive to the basket. No good, but the foul. That's going to be number two on Noel. So that might force Tim to bring somebody in. And here comes the man, the myth, Elkis Dale Pulido, the Hialeah native and Hialeah High star basketball player, along with Brian Barroso. They were teammates. And Hialeah. And he'll have to come in because of the two fouls. So then we'll probably have four subs coming in in about a minute. Second free throw is up. Too strong, no good. The rebound goes to Garrido. It's tipped there by Tyler Thomas. Garrido gets it to Thomas. Looks at some space. Oh, he's tried to get Pulido, but lost the handle. Floater is good by number five. Nice little floater there. And now a turnover. So Atlanta's starting to get more aggressive defensively. See if they can take advantage of it. Drive inside. Lost control. Could have been called for travel. Here's a quick pass. Oh, Barolo missing that layup. Now the foul is called. Coach Tim not happy with that miss layup. Barroso normally short-handed with that. We get a substitution in for Atlantis. Still none of the uh, 
TPB alumni have come into the game. Yeah, we got a couple of them. I'll mention their names once they're in the in the game. Here's a three on the way. A little too strong. Rebound to Pulido and thank you, Pulido. A little bit too much mustard on that pass over the head of Barroso. That's gonna be another turnover. has been an issue for this team at times, although it's certainly gotten better as the season's gone on. Oh, here's a drive to the basket. An attempted reverse layup was well short. So from the corner, trying to, trying to post up there number 55. Finally get it to him in the high post. And just too much movement there. Should have just gone up with it. Seems like he had some height advantage down there. Pass was easily picked away by Barroso. Here's Pagan in the game. He's going to immediately call a foul or draw a foul if he'll go to the line. I didn't even see when uh, Trevor Pagan got in the game. Sorry about that. Well, maybe we're not going to have the 5 in, 5 out. Maybe we'll save that for the second half. Nobody at the scores table. Well, here we go. We got uh, Sean Five Hour McMurray. Alex Gill and Noah Jay. So here's your. This will finish out the five in, five out. So five new bodies in there. Right at the 14 21 mark. And that's the way to keep your team fresh for that second half. As the second free throw is good by Pagan. Out of the basket, that's short. It might have been blocked there by Noah Jade, but in a inadvised pass coming back the other way. Turns into a three-point attempt. Rebound goes to McMurray. Here's Jade. Jade inside to Pagan, who misses it. A lot of mishandled passes here. His little floater. That's no good. Jade with another rebound. So now both teams missing a lot of shots. Here's Pagan, gets it inside to Pulido. Boy, you can see that coming. Thank you, Pulido. Not gonna stop him too often down there. Atlanta has their big man in the game, but unable to defend. I think he's in that play. Looking for the high screen. No switch here. Pagan, and they're gonna call. I'm not sure what the call was. Was that a five second violation? They may have called with, playing with modified rules here, no shot clock in this facility, so they're gonna go with high school five second violation, meaning um, the ball carrier has to make a move in five seconds if the uh, defender is, here's a push. A foul called on the floor, thank you please. So the if the defender's within, uh, within arm's distance, the ball carrier has five seconds to make a move, pass or drive. I guess they called it there. Here's the pass into the court. Inside to Pulido. Little turnaround shot is off the mark. And they come back the other way. So both teams kind of struggling scoring here. The pass inside. Nola Jade overplayed that, didn't get the steal. So it turns into an easy bucket for. Atlanta. Here's McMurray. Murray back to Gill. It gets blocked. And it'll be over to Atlantis. He's been a little bit sloppy here in the last couple of minutes with some missed shots and turnovers. Here's a kick out. Open three on the way. No good. Long rebound goes to Gill. Gets it to Jade. Jade. Tried to kick it out, but the pass was stolen. And that's going to turn into an easy layup going back the other way for Atlanta. So Atlanta's now it's cut the lead down to four. Still very early here. Here's a pass inside to Bolillo. Bolillo goes left. Now right, now kicks out. McMurray 
All the way to the basket and gets it to go by Lauer McMurray. Oh, here's a steal. Careless pass there by Atlantis. Out to Jay. He's going to launch a three. It was off the mark. As we get Yadex Choka in the game. 2020. Went up to North Carolina. Uh, here's a three by McMurray. Well off the mark there. And the drive off the glass. Good for Atlantis. So 11-11 to go in this game. 17-13. TTB on top. Coach Tim not happy with a little bit of a sloppy play here last four or five minutes after a strong start. So talking about Yadek Chauka. Let me see if I can get you that information. Baby in the game. Chris English, the baby of the bunch, gets into the game. Here's a full court press by Atlantis. And Sean McMurray's going to go all the way to the basket. Gets his own rebound. Off the miss. And we're set to Pagan. Atlantis comes out aggressive here on defense. Here's McMurray. Back to English. English pass to Pagan. It's stolen. Into another layup, so now turnover is really becoming a problem here for TTB. Uh, pass inside, Gill back to beautiful ball movement there. So many passes, I couldn't call it fast enough. Beautiful ball movement there, uh, but a quick pass the other way, and TTB has got to get back on defense there. Here's the full court press once again, but uh, not able to handle it. Here's McMurray. Murray's going to go all the way to the glass and misses the layup. So some missed shots here for TTB to start this game. Here's a steal. Pagan able to strip Chauka out to, ooh, Elke Polido thought about the three. He can shoot it from there for sure. Here's English out to Gill. Gill, that's a shot, but not that time. Drive to the basket and a kick out. Now a baseline move. Little mid-range jump shot on the way and good. That ties up the game. So Atlantis, after a rough start, has been able to come back and tie this game up. English gets it into Pagan, although it was a bit of a scary pass there. Pagan to Gill. Gill finishes, finishes nicely. It was a strange game so far. Here's Chalka. He's going to launch a three. That's off the mark. Ball will stay with Atlantis. Got a zone I'm looking at. Here's a three on the way. That's going to give Atlantis the lead, first lead of the game at 22-21. Pass to Pagan. Back to... Here's Tyler Thomas. He's got space. Tries to get inside to Zanega. Can't handle the pass. Maybe another turnover. So the sloppy play continues here for TTB. Pass inside. Stolen by Zanega. Way to make that up there. And now the ball strips. And passing it back to the big man. Can't finish. Tyler Thomas is there for the rebound. As Guerrero brings it back. 
Rigo tried to get into the Nega. Pass is not there. Too much traffic. And that's going to turn into a bucket going back the other way. So now 24. Now TTB down three. Up seven early in this one. Here's Thomas. Little mid-range jump shot. No good. Gets his own offensive rebound. Another miss. An offensive rebound. And finally finishes. That's a deficit down to one. The drive to the basket and good. And also back to Garrido now. Carter Thomas, he's going to line it up for a three. Tipped out, but. Atlanta's going the other way. That's no good. Rebound to Garrido. The pace of the game is really picked up. Here's a skip pass inside Pagan into Sanega. I got missing right at the basket. Back to your deck. That's no good. Garrido with the rebound pushing hard. He's gonna go just go all the way and finish this. No more messing around for Garrido. Starting off with the first. Four points of this game. And that uh, brings TTB to within one again. A little hook shot there. Good by number 10. Nice move. There's a pass inside. Pagan. Gets it to Thomas. Thomas with the reverse. But a foul before that. I believe on the floor. So we mentioned Yadek Chaka. He went up to Blue Knights College in Apex, North Carolina. Played two years of college basketball there. And has transferred here to South Florida, to Atlantis, to finish off his college career. And so we're very proud of him. Here's Garrido, now out of the game, is Chaka. Here's Pagan. Kicks it out to Barroso. This is a good look for him, and he knocks it down. Right, Barroso. Ties the game up at 28. Oh, Gil almost gets to that one. Here's the three back the other way and good. Atlantis regains a three-point lead. Passing to the middle to Pagan. Out to Garrido. He's going to launch a three. That's well off the mark. Maybe getting forced into this quick, uh, quick pace game. Second chance opportunity, and now we get uh, our second TTB alumni, Anthony Hernandez. He's class of 2021, and he came to Atlanta. This will be his second year at Atlantis University. Pass inside. Calls Anega with a foul. He'll sub out. Get Edkis Polito back in the game. Here's Hernandez. He gets trapped in the corner. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Here's Hernandez. He's going to launch a three and knocking it down. It's Anthony Hernandez. No, that was not Anthony Hernandez. My, my apologies. So now a six-point lead for Atlantis. Here's Barroso from the baseline. Back to Pagan. He gets blocked. And with the left hand, the bucket and the foul. So 
And that is really picking up the pace now here. TTB needs to wake up soon. Plenty of time to play in this one. Four minutes to go, but falling behind by eight now. We're up by seven early. So Thought this might, uh, might be an easy night, but not at all. So we got a free throw coming here. Free throw's no good, but the rebound goes right to the free throw shooter. There's nothing but a sea of black shirts and nobody got to it. And here's a three back on the way. That's no good. Rebound goes to, it's tipped out to Barroso. He picks it up. Here's a pick out. Here's Pagan. He's going to launch a three. That's no good. That keeps Pulido's there for the offensive rebound. And uh, gets knocked out of bounds. Well, he's getting hit a lot down there. He should start getting some calls. No reset to him. Here's Guerrero. In the corner to Barroso. Gets Pulido. Pulido with a nice strong move and the baby right hook. Is good. 36-30 now. TTB trailing. Here's a reverse layup. It's good on a nice pick and roll there. But also thought that was an illegal screen. Didn't get the call. Ah, reaching no call there. Here's an open look for Barroso. That was time too strong. TTB sets up. That ball tipped away, nearly stolen by Garrido. Skip pass. There's a post up inside, up and good. Back to now, 10 point deficit for TTB. Here's Pulido. Over the corner to Barroso, back to Pulido. He's gonna go up off the glass. Shot is no good. The drive to the basket, reach in and a steal. Guerrero picks it up. Gets it over to Pulido, puts it up, no good. Offensive rebound. What a lot of misses at the basket here. Frustrating first half for TTB. They trail by 10 here. It's a bit of a surprise. The kick out. Another kick out. He's a three on the way. That's well off. Pagan with the rebounds, pushing very quickly. Gets it to Pulido. And he's just going to finish with the right. And now we got a timeout. TTB is. We have 119 to go here in the first half. TTB trailing 40 to 32. Long way to go. This team has had a bad habit this season of falling behind in games, particularly against uh, teams that uh, maybe don't present the biggest challenge to them. You might recall up at Trinity College, they were down, the first game though was against the varsity team, they were down 18 in that game, came back to win, but then came down 13 against the JV team, but managed to come back to beat, win that game as well. back in the game all over his man and forces him into a wild pass out of bounds so McMurray 
making his presence felt immediately. comes out with that full court press. Back to Garrido, some pass to McMurray. Back to Garrido, and over to, but also into Tyler Thomas. Goes up and a nice finish there for Tyler Thomas. Here's a steal, Barroso, back to Thomas. He'll finish. Cut the lead down to four. Seems to be trailed by as many as 10 just a moment ago. We've seen this before. This might be the last possession here now, just 13 seconds to go in the first half. Atlantis will try to hold for the last shot, looking for the high screen. Into number two, that's stripped. See if Garrido can get this off, and he does not. But TTB with nice defense there. So, a rough first half here, a lot of missed shots and turnovers, and that translates into a 40 to 36 deficit here. Like I said, we've seen this before, and uh, this team is a strong second half team. Let's see if they can come out again and do it once again. All right, we'll take a break and come back. Come back to join us. No doubt, an exciting second half coming up.
half started here. See if we can come out and clean this up. Sloppy first half there for TTB. Started off pretty well, up seven early in this game, but some sloppy plays, turnovers, and missed shots. Was able to get Atlantis turned around and trailed by as many as 10 at one point. And currently trailed by four, 40 to 36. Uh, <laughs> we got the star here, referee. He's the star, he's telling me. The real star of the show. All right, 20 minutes to go here. TTB, they've been a good second half team all year. Let's see if they can do it one more time. As Atlantis will control to start the second half here. TTB, they come out trapping. So you can see they're going to start. Gonna get a foul from behind as Dorito tried to get a, some makeup, a makeup block, but gets called for the foul. That's gonna be three free throws. So not the start we were looking for here. First one is good. <clears throat> Well, he gets two out of three. Here's Garrido. Garrido's going to put up a little floater. The defender tried to draw. The defender tried to draw the, the charge. Didn't get any call. And now we might have a wet spot on the floor. All right, so still down by four. Just started here the second half. TTB now extending their defense here. Now looking for a, a, court, a trap in the backcourt. Haven't seen that too often here where they trap in the backcourt. They usually trap the corners. They just get past the other side and a three on the way and good by number four. So Atlanta's off to a good start here in the second half. Here's Barroso, out to the corner. Here's Santana Noel, he's short on his shot. Gets his own rebound, tries to go up. Better advice to go the opposite side of the basket. There's a lot of bodies down there. Here's a wild shot, that's well off. Quick pass to Santana Noel, back to Barroso. Swing pass over to Guerrero, into the corner to the Tyler Thomas. Tyler Thomas with a nice little floater. The touch gets it to roll. 45-40 now. For Atlantis. Here's the, the trap once again. This time they get the steal. Here's Noel. He's going to finish with the left. Didn't bother to dunk it or anything. No need to do anything flashy here. Get the bucket. Get back on defense. I like it. Here comes the trap once again. And we're going to get a Oh, here. oh, it stepped on the line, so we get the turnover we're looking for. So back-to-back -back turnovers here off that full-court pressure. There's Barroso, gets it into Thomas. They're going to call Thomas with the offensive foul. Eighteen, eight, 18... 18 to go, 45-42, TTB trailing here at iTech. Here comes the trap, this time in the backcourt. And that is knocked out of bounds. Ball will go over to TTB, so the, the full court press has worked. Get their third turnover here already. Here's Barroso pass inside to Thomas. You know he's gonna finish that, beautiful look. An even prettier finish by Thomas. But this time, oh, that was defended. I thought that had an easy layup. As the full court press broke down that time. TTB got lucky on that one. 
Ball's going to go over to Atlantis. Can't take advantage of that. 45-44 now. Well, things are still a little bit sloppy here. And also, once again, struggling from three. Only one made three in that first half. And that was by Barroso. Into the corner. This is an open three on the way. No good. Rebound Pagan. He's just going to reset. Good job of getting back on defense there by Atlantis. Lance is really extending that defense now. Here's Thomas. Loses it, kicks it out. Here's Barroso. Into the corner, Pagan. He's got some space. Kicks it out to Thomas. Here he is from the corner. Rebound, Pagan. Still only one made three. So once again, similar to the game as Prestige. Here's a beautiful pass inside. Barroso to Pagan. To Thomas and Thomas able to finish and draw the foul, so he'll go to the line. The TTB once again struggling from three. It's been a couple of games now, been a bit streaky this year with their three point shooting. Overall, still pretty good, but they just have some games where they just can't, can't knock it down from three. Alex Gill. Only bright spot at Prestige earlier this week on Monday. Maybe get him into the game, see if we can. Uh... So TTB has regained the lead here, 47-45. Still a long way to go. And here's a near steal. TTB really has picked up the defensive pressure here. Here's a drive to the basket. Baseline is blocked. And Pagan, see if he just goes all the way. Can't get the layup to go. We're gonna get a jump ball. That should go to TTB as Atlanta's opened up the half of possession. A little bit too wild there on the on the layup for Pagan. Here's Pagan, straightaway three on the way. Finally gets it to go. TCB off by five. So nice. Again, things together here. Still a long way to go. It's kind of a weird game. It's a drive to the basket. And the little runner is good. Very fast pace to this game. Both teams trying to push. Both teams have been trapping. Here's Pagan with the up top. Garrido gets it back to Noel, gets the bucket and the foul. Santana Noel will go to the line. And a nice strong move and a good look, good patient look by Garrido. Well, able to convert the three-point play. Now TTB up six. Here's a steal. Garrido is going to get fouled and is able to finish the basket. That was a foul to prevent the basket. And Garrido, Garrido with his strength, able to just muscle it through and get the bucket. So it's an opportunity for back-to-back three-point plays for TTB. Oh, he can't get the rebound. He can't get the free throw, but he got the offensive rebound. And they can't. I don't think they can call that a backcourt. There was no possession. Here comes Gill. Into the game. He'll replace Thomas. I didn't think either team had a possession there, so. And they call a backcourt violation. The pass inside, getting loose is number 10. And we're going to get a delay of game warning on number 10. And we're also TTB up 55-49 right now. The 
Guerrero back to Barroso. He's going to put up a three, knocking it down. That's the second of the game. Second of the half for TTB. So maybe the three ball will help us out here. Another near, near steal. As TTB really trying to put on the pressure. A drive and a kick. Kick to the other side. Defender is there. Oh, rebound goes to the big man. He's going to go to the reverse side. Ah, good defense there, but we're going to get a timeout by Atlantis. As we get a score of 58-51 with 14-19 to go. Still a long way to go here. Don't go away. So obviously TTV defending better. The pressure defense is somewhat similar to the game at Prestige where the, the pressure defense turnovers and easy buckets was really the difference in that game. Starting to become the difference here. Certainly in the second half, it's been the difference. TPT now starting to shoot the ball better. Had a couple of threes in the second half. Only have one in that first half. And so things starting to open up a little bit. Still got to clean up some of those turnovers. And, which tends to happen when you have these type of uh, kind of fast-paced games. Here's Pulido. Over to Gill. I'd like to get him some open looks. Here's Pagan. Back to Guerrero into the corner to Santana Noel. Tried to get it into Pulido. Pass was not quite there. And all the way to the basket. Not what we wanted out of that possession. Here is Guerrero. Gets it inside to Santana Noel. He is able to finish strong in a nice pass there by Guerrero. Guerrero, I think he's got about 8 to 10 points in this game. For him, that's a struggle, offensively anyway, but he contributes in so many other ways. He's a drive to the basket off a, kind of a broken play there. He contributes in so many other ways, defensively, rebounds, assists. It's not all about points, folks. This is not a team where anybody's going to average 30 points a game. This is a team with an even distribution of points. Here's Pagan. Goes inside. Gets it out to Pulido. Into the corner to Gill. Go inside to Noel. He scores with the left. Boy, Santana Noel. It's really come alive here. Getting open underneath and scoring. And guys are finding him. Why not? He is a target. As we get uh, five hour energy here. Sean McMurray back in the game. There's a guy that plays with a lot of energy. Uh, Santana Manuel will try to complete yet another th three-point play. TB doing a good job of getting to the line here. Unable to finish it though, but look who's there to chase it down. Alex Gill, Santana Manuel's gonna put up a three. Ah, that one would have been nice. Could have extended this lead a little bit to double figures, but Still at 7, 62-55. It's a little fadeaway. It's knocked away. Tried to save it. And they're going to say that uh, it was off of Elkis. Here's a three on the way. That's no good. Rebound, number 10. That pass intercepted by Gill. Here's McMurray with a spin move inside to Pulido. Puts it up. Can't finish. And the ball will stay with TB. Boy, Ekis Pulido, a little bit of a frustrating game at Prestige on Monday. Missing a lot of the basket. Now we're seeing a lot of that here. Let's lead up to 10 and work from there. But it's still a 7-point lead for TTB. Trying to post up their big man. Help Cummins. Gill once again stepping in front of a pass. Rolls it over to Pagan. Out to McMurray. Into the corner. Inside. Knocked away. But ball will stay with TTB. They're trying to get the ball inside to Pulido. Good ball movement. 
by TTB. He's just been in a little bit of a struggle trying to finish at the basket. Here's Belita getting good position. Wants the call as well. Doesn't get it, but he gets the bucket. And now TTB up 64-55. He's starting to come alive here. Still need like that big run. Here's a drive. Puts it up and no good. They caught Santana on the well there, leaning. Number 24 will go to the line for Atlantis. First one is good. Second one is no good with an offensive rebound. Here's a three on the way. That was well off. Pagan with the rebound. Gets it over to McMurray. McMurray. Ah, tried to get it back to Pulido quickly. Passed a little too strong. So the scoreboard is showing 65-55. TTV in the lead. And I think... So I think, no, they fixed the free throw there. So 65 56. TTB up by nine right now. And that's going to be a pick ball out of bounds. Ball will stay with Atlanta. 10 51. Stop the clock. They're running the clock? They're just running clock here. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Here's a three on the way. No good. Tip out. The nigga. Oh, that's Pagan. He comes up with it, but then loses it. That's what I mean. A little bit of a sloppy play here when the teams play so aggressively up the court. You're going to get turnovers, but you just got to clean that up. Get rid of the ball quicker. Here's a double. And Murray coming in to help. Now comes out. And now a drive into the basket. No good. Polito with a strong rebound. Uh, here's another turnover. And that's going to be knocked away. They're going to say that that stays with Atlantis. I could have sworn the uh, Atlantis player knocked that out of bounds. Should be TTB ball, but I'm not the referee. Tyler Thomas will come back in the game. He's in for Polito. He's having a bit of a frustrating game. Here's a three on the way and knocking it down. That is not what we wanted. Keeps Atlantis in this game just when we're about to pull ahead a little bit. There's a pass inside to Tyler Thomas. Great look there by Santana Noel. 67-59 now. Eight-point lead for TTB. I'd like to see this go up. Lead up to 15. Here's a Ryder Thomas. Can he get it? He does. Ryder Thomas all over the place once again. Out to Gill. Back up to Noel. Inside to McMurray. Can't handle the pass. And that's what I mean by the just cleaning things up. Got to handle these passes. Too much of that tonight. There's a pass inside. And we're going to get a foul call. Murray says that foul is on him. And that's going to be... Oh. I guess we're going to call that on Thomas. First free throw is short. Four black shirts here. You got to get this rebound. That's oh, good. We're going to get Noah Jade into the game here. <laughs> Up top, Jade. Over to McMurray. Pagan. Here's Thomas. 
Here's Jay looking for some space. McMurray. Not as really playing a man, but they're playing well off help. So a lot of bodies in there. And now a turnover there by Thomas. He's gonna go all the way. Can't get the bucket, but he will draw the fouls. Number 10 for Atlanta, so he'll go to the line for Atlanta. Trailing now by seven. Was up by as many as 10 in that first half. And they're hanging around. This is a dangerous game. As the first free throw is no good. Kind of a dangerous game. I don't have a real good feeling about this. Kind of an awkward high school gym here we're playing in. Old gym, old school gym. It's got a nice feel to it, but not so much for a college level game. No shot clock. I'm not sure our guys feel too comfortable in, from what we're used to. Here's Pagan. Gill. Here's inside to Thomas. Back out to Gill. There's a good look for him. Can't get it though. The three is still inconsistent for TTB. Oh, Jay defended that well and gets the rebound. Good job there. Here comes a trap. Oh, Jay needs to attack this. He's got some numbers. Little mid-range jump shot. No good. And Tyler Thomas, don't pick up another foul now. Well, now TTV unable to take advantage of some uh, possessions there. And that looked like a weird crossover. Thought it might have been a discontinued dribble. The three is no good. Pagan back the other way, looking for the high screen. Gets it to McMurray. McMurray back to Jay. Tried to kick it out to Thomas, but it got knocked away and stolen. Boy, another opportunity down the court without it being able to score, but you got to defend. The pass inside. A big man has it knocked away. McMurray quickly to go back to Thomas, and he loses it. Gets hit in the back, but after he lost it, so no foul. Boy, these last several possessions have been really frustrating, and keeping Atlantis in this, just trailing by six with 6:50 to go, 67-61. Got to get on a run here. Now TTB showing an extended defense here. And looking for that trap again. The drive in the middle, a little floater, no good. Thomas with the rebound, good defense there. We're playing good defense right now. Atlantis can't score, problem is we can't score either. Need somebody to get it going offensively here. Here's Pagan, here's Thomas from the corner. Can we get that one? That's off, but Santana Noel is there. Can't get the putback either. Boy, and Noel has dried up here in these last three or four minutes. Here's a nice pass inside and a finish. And finally, somebody able to score, but... Not the team we wanted. Nice move there, a pump fake by Tyler Thomas. Drew his man and turned into an easy bucket. Nothing easy about it though. 69 63 here's a high pass too far, out of bounds. As we get some subs in for Atlantis, as Brian Barroso comes in for Tyler Thomas. 69 63. Looking for a little run here, a little bit of offense on a night where it's been a struggle. Looking for the high screen here. Here's Garrido. Garrido's gonna go all the way to the bucket and score high off the glass with the left. Maybe it could be Garrido in the double figures tonight. Here's a knock away. Turned into a turnover there. Got plenty of those. Defense is not the problem. 
Trying to work on the pick and roll there. The drive to the basket and good. So Atlanta's not going away at all. Now under five minutes to go. TV nursing a six point lead. Here's McMurray to Riddle. Back to Barroso. Tried to get it inside. Tried to get it inside to Noel, but just passes, just not on point tonight. Here's a bucket and a foul. Atlantis really starting to make some plays. We need to start answering some of these. 71 67 now, 418 to go. Pulido comes back in the game for Noel. on the way and good. So that brings Atlantis to within three, one possession game here. Oh, and uh, here's Pagan. Polito had McMurray there open for a minute. Once again, trying to get it into Polito, but passes are not just, just quite not there tonight. 71-68, 4.03 to go. Let's see if we can hang in here and Get our eighth win against a college program. Here's Barroso. Oh, that one looks good from this angle. Well, off the mark. Only three made threes for TTB tonight. That's been another area of struggle. Now to pull this out with defense. And now a uh, zone defense, I believe. This is going to turn into an open three. No good. Here's McMurray on the outlet. And he will not finish. Bolillo is there. Off the glass. Good. That was a little scary. That's kind of the way it's gone. This time, uh, Bolillo was able to finish it up. Under the lane. Too much room there. That's blocked out of bounds. Good job there by Anti Bolillo. Dali. 73, 68, now 3, 19 to go. Got to be up here. He's a pass inside and able to finish up high. It's number 10. So back to a one possession game. 73, 70. Here's Garrido into Elkis. Elkis loses it, but they're going to call a foul. Not sure where the team fouls are. Well, let's see. The team fouls, uh, they have them on the board. I think that's only team foul number three. So no shots here. Here's inside. Garrido can't get that. That's how it's gone tonight. But he's able to at least hustle back for his uh, second chance. Here's Pagan over the corner. Again, trying to get it into Elkis, it's knocked away. Got to give Atlantis credit. They use their hands well. A lot of knocked away passes. We're going to have a timeout here with 2.40 to go. This is going to go down to the wire. 2.41 now. It's 73-70. TTV in the lead. And we're just going to have to grind this out these last two minutes, 41 seconds. There's not going to be anything pretty about tonight. Trying to get their eighth win against a college program. I believe we had three, maybe four wins against college programs last season. TTB already trying to double that. Currently at seven and three. From the baseline, now every possession becomes big. Out to Garrido. Garrido's going to put up a three that's short. Boy, that was open. Got to knock some of those down. That's the way it's gone for everybody here tonight. 
Out to the corner. Here's a three back the other way. That's no good. Polito with the rebound. Out to Barroso. That would have tied the game. Barroso losing it. And now they're going to call a jump ball. They don't just they just don't want to let go of the ball. All right, the arrow was in favor of Atlanta, so it'll be their basket, trailing by only three. One possession here. Gotta dig this out. It's gonna be on the defensive side of the board, the way it's gone on the offense today. We're going to have to grind this out defensively. Here's a high screen looking for the pick and roll. Now into the lane, kick out. Good job of closing out on that for TTB. Here's the pick and roll. Now they got their big man posted up. And the pass inside. No good, though. Missed opportunity there for Atlantis. Let's see if TTB can take advantage. Over to Pagan. Back to Barroso. Here's McMurray. He's going to go baseline. And throws it into the stands. Not sure what that was. A little bit too much energy on that one. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can grind this out. High screen. Drive, kick. There to close with Spagang right away. Defense is playing well. Still looking for that pick and roll, trying to get the ball into their big man. Here's a drive to the basket. No good. Let's see who gets the rebound. Offensive rebound. And we're going to get the foul. But Rosso thought he reached in and tied him up for the jump ball. But he'll get called for the foul. And that'll put number two at the line. The big three throws here with 131 to go. And Atlantis trailing by just three. First one is off the mark. And that's good for TTB. We just got to get something on the other side and put the ball in the basket. Turn this into a two-possession game. Second free throw on the way. Up and good. So now just a two-point lead for TTB. And Atlantis comes out with a full court press. Gets it into Pagan. And the pass. That's the way it's gone tonight. Too high for Polido. So now Atlantis with a chance to tire to take the lead here with just 124 to go. The bench yelling defense. ETB has been able to pull out games like this in the this season so far. Here's a strip. Barroso. Little Euro stepper with the left and able to finish. And Brian Barroso with the big play now gives TTB a four-point lead. Here's the big man. And he's gonna get fouled. He'll have to earn it at the line. Clock shows well, how much time was left. Clock showed. He's going to put one minute, exactly one minute on the clock. We have two big free throws here coming for number 10 for Atlantis. First one rims out. Got to box out on this one if there's a miss. Got to get the shooter as well. And TTB pull out another close victory against a college program. And we're going to have a timeout here. So this is the situation. One minute to play. And TTB up 75-72. So just a one possession game. So obviously a huge possession here. A bucket will make it a two possession game. Still plenty of time to play. This is anybody's ball game right here. Referee at the scores table trying to sort things out here. Got a 
pay close attention to that clock for this last minute of this game. Let's see what TTB comes out with. A uh, really frustrating night, offensively anyway. Here we go, Atlanta is showing full court press. A little bit dangerous to give up an easy bucket. Gets it into Pagan, back to Garrido. Garrido back to Pagan, now they have numbers. Gets it into Pulido, Pulido is gonna reset. Team foul. Not sure what the team foul situation. I think it's a three for Atlantis. Here's Pagan. Over to Barroso. Here's Pagan. I'm not sure if TTB's just trying to run down the clock. Turn it into a free throw game. And here's a drive all the way and finishing is Garrido. 19 seconds. That makes it a five point game. And I'll drive all the way and a foul. And oh boy, this kid hit his head with a table. 77 and 72 clock shows 13 seconds. And we're going to have a timeout here as uh, the kid that hit the layup, hit the back of his head with that table that's there. And he looks like he's going to be okay. Oh, it was not the kid with the layup. All right. So those are two shots here coming. First one is good. And Coach Tim wants a timeout with a rebound here or a made shot. He's going to want a timeout. This could turn it back into a one possession game. No good. Rebound. Noel. And no timeout. Here's Santana. Noel gets fouled. I thought Tim wanted a timeout. Uh, I guess not. Seven seconds now. In a two possession game. You kind of only just have to hold the ball here and get out of here with a win. Here's Barroso, he's gonna run down the court and he gets fouled. And uh, let's see if that puts TTB in the bonus and I think that one will do it. But now just three seconds and still a two possession game. So very difficult for Atlantis to come up with a play to get four points in three seconds with Barroso on the line for a one-on-one. -on -one. So right now, it looks like uh, we're just that close to getting our eighth win against a college program. But also can really seal it here by making both. And Brian calmly makes the first. Making both, and I think that could be the dagger. You normally don't see free throws being a dagger in a game. They're going to let this kid take his shot. It's up and no good, and that'll do it. What do they say? It's an ugly win, but it's a win. A win is a win is a win. Sometimes you got to win ugly. And this was definitely an ugly win tonight. 79-73. TTB runs their overall record now to 17 and 5. I'm not sure anybody's gonna want to talk to me. Hang on a minute, let me see.
Time to buy YouTube or YouTube again. Let's see what kind of comments I can get out of uh, maybe some of the coaches. <laughs> Look at this guy, Yadek. How are you, bro? Yeah, you look good, man. Good? Yeah, man. It's good to see you again. Good to see you, bro. How's school? School's good? Nice, man. Good to see you. So that was Yadek Chauka who came out to say hello to me as I was uh, his coach, believe it or not, at one point, high school. I was an assistant at Miami Beach Senior High. So Chalka's from Beach High. That's where he played his high school basketball. And uh, let me see if I can get it. Yet, um, I don't think I don't think I don't th I don't think anybody wants to talk to me tonight. I don't think anybody wants to talk to me tonight. Coach, I just got one thing to say: ugly win, but a win. <laughs> For sure, we had to fight hard on that second half to to you know accomplish this win. Um, I mean, what what, what contributed? <laughs> you got a little, you got you got the you got five hour behind you. Oh my gosh. Um, I mean, what contributed to like the sloppy play, man? Just uh, the 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 passes weren't quite there. Uh, a lot of knocked away pass, a lot of mi misses right at the at the basket. Anything? Guys, just feel uncomfortable and kind of an awkward gym or. Yeah, it's definitely probably the nervousness. We weren't as aggressive as we usually are because of the boxes, as you can see, that are around the gym. I definitely think it had a take on, you know, our execution. So the guys, it was a psychological thing, but we fixed it up at halftime. So we were able to, you know, accomplish what we were supposed to. All right, well, the defense was definitely there. And uh, the other thing, last couple of games, just uh, struggling from three, uh, I think uh, against Prestige, it was maybe like two or three. Only, only Gil had three. The only guy that had a three, I think, in that game, if I'm not mistaken. And only three in the entire game tonight. Um, what do you got to do to get, get that ball hitting from three? Well, we're definitely encouraging the guys to put up more shots outside of practice. We've been definitely putting in sh up shots during practice. Uh, but again, you know, um, I hate to... That's definitely on us, so we're going to improve on that. And I'm sure at Maria Sunday, you'll definitely see more than just one three. All right. We we'll hope so. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. And congrats on a... I'll win. All right, guys. I'm going to... Any, anybody else? <laughs> you want to talk to me? All right, we're going to get Gorillo here. All right, we'll talk, we'll talk to Gorillo. Um, it's an ugly win, bro, but, but a win is a win. Just a struggle overall offensively. You know, just a lot of turnovers, a lot of missed shots right at the basket for everybody. Uh, but you got it done with defense. Um, you in particular, what I've noticed, sometimes I know that you're a prolific scorer and sometimes, you know, the ball's just not going in the room, but you contribute in, in so many other ways, uh, rebounding, assists. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Um, I guess it was just one of those days for the team that, like, our shot just wasn't going in. Our three-pointers, our layups were all going in and out. So we did turn it up on defense, like, we got a lot of steals towards the end and a lot of stops, especially at the end of the first half. We got like five stops in a row towards the end of the half. So, I mean, we just had to, like you said, pick it up in different areas to win the basketball game. Since our shot wasn't falling, we just had to pick up the intensity on defense. All right. I mean, sometimes it's it's uh, the mark of a good team is a team that can win even when they have like a really bad night. <laughs> and I think that's what we saw tonight. So, congratulations. You're now 8-3 and three against college programs, 17-5 and five overall. So, it's... Let's keep it going. All right. Have a good one.
All right, guys, we're going to sign out and come back and talk to us, uh, come back to our live stream. Sunday will be across the Alligator Alley, across the swamp, over to, <laughs> over to Ave Maria in our third meeting. Oh, hey, we got Tyler Thomas coming here. We got Tyler Thomas. All right, they, they picked you. O always nice to, to uh, talk to Tyler Thomas. I call it, I, sometimes I call you Tyler the twin Thomas because it looks like there's two of you out there on the court. You're, you're just, you make a bucket and then you're right back on defense getting the steal. Like, talk to me about that kind of energy that you bring. Man, I just like bringing energy to the team. I like playing defense. I like rebounding. Rebounding is probably my favorite thing in basketball because, you know, nobody can jump with me. I hope right. I don't jinx myself so I get dunked on. But, All right. you know, <laughs> great team win. I love my team. And we kept the energy up through the second half. And that's it. Yeah, well, you've done it before. You you've been down. You were down by ten in the first half, but you've seen that before. You were down, I think, seven on, at Prestige, and that, that turned into a blowout win. Uh, you were down at Trinity. You were down both games. Was that by eighteen to the Varsity came back to win. Down by thirteen to the JV came back to win. So, uh, but uh, how, how about how about we not get down by ten in, in the first half? We gotta break that habit. We gotta keep the intensity up the whole game for future references and yeah that's good all right congratulations i'll see you on sunday all right so sunday we go across the swamp to the west coast and uh we'll see you then join us this is reggie signing off thanks for joining us here we go again <laughs> what's up man i rolled my ankle before the second half really on that